Hey everyone, with this video I am going to give you my three main tips on how to travel with heavy carry-on, specifically underwater camera gear, and how to try and avoid the risk of having to check it or having to pay for it. So first of all, it starts with packing. You're of course going to use a carry-on uh, luggage. Uh, you can buy the biggest one possible, preferably the top load. And, uh, and then you can also have a backpack, which sort of, you know, is a personal item. Now, make sure that in the suitcase, which is the one that they're going to check most likely, if they're going to check, make sure there's only camera gear in there. Therefore, when you are being asked, you can actually say, sorry, this is all camera gear. It's very expensive. I don't want to check it. I don't think you want to check it either. You know, it's really dangerous, really expensive, can break easy. You show them like one of your ports, which is glass, you show them some lenses. So make sure there's no other stuff in there, no toiletries, no, no clothing, no, etc. Pack it really nice and tight. And I also suggest to buy a simple uh, uh, carry-on suitcase, not something fancy that uh, looks expensive and has expensive contents, but also not a Pelican case. Tip two is what you do at the counter. Now, the easiest way is to just avoid going to the counter. If you're traveling with one or more people, just somebody waits with the carry-on suitcases and you check in just with your backpack. And uh, that's most of the time at the gate, nobody checks this again. If you're alone, it is uh, my tip is always to make sure they don't see the luggage. So make sure you wear the backpack and don't have it stacked on top of each other because that's making it more obvious that, that you have too much stuff. Um, also, I always find it really nice is if you are walking towards the counter, you hold up your passport. And so they look at the passport rather than looking at your carry-on. And in that moment, you slide the, um, the carry-on suitcase under the counter so they don't see it. Because these stuff, you know, they process per flight, maybe 200, 300 people. They don't really need to, they don't want to, but of course they should check and, you know, fair enough, that's their job. But if they don't see it, uh, usually if they see you walking away with it, they're like, ah, whatever. If they start opening your bag, make sure you explain that, you know, it's all camera equipment, that you're worried, that, you know, equipment might break if you have to check it and that, you know, you'd be troublesome and you ruin your trip. Just make sure you stay super nice. They're just doing their job and you are basically are breaking the rules because, you know, seven kilo uh, carry on is, is way exceeded by, by what you've got there. Another tip is make sure that they don't see you at the gate. So don't linger around at the gate so they don't see you standing around with your backpack and your carry-on suitcase so they already know, okay, this guy is trouble. So stay away from that area, avoiding uh, being seen with it. But then we come to tip number three, and tip number three is don't go into the plane late because these days everybody's doing it, everybody's traveling with uh, carry-on luggage. So if you are late to the plane, they're gonna start asking you to check it and then they see how heavy it is and then you're in trouble. So make sure you're always early, there's no benefit of cutting it tight. Um, be one of the first, not the first, because the first usually gets checked, but be early at the plane uh, uh, so that you have a chance to get in and also to store your stuff because it's also super annoying when you're the last one in and all the, the top compartments are taken and then it gets embarrassing because uh, when they lift your carry-on to put it uh, into the cargo hold, they can see how heavy it is. Anyway, those are my tips. Uh, I've been managing to fly like this for like, you know, 12, 13 years with camera equipment, sometimes 15 times a year. So um, it always works. I've rarely ever had to pay. I've never had to check. So with these tips, I hope that you will also be able to travel with your underwater camera gear in your carry-out suitcase and avoid charging some checking.